Hello, hello, let's and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Right, so this is the one that needs to be fixed. Oh, gross, 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 gross. By today. <laughs> uh, man. Wow, that is so filthy. Where did you keep that thing? The addict? Oh god. Don't even know how it gets this dusty. I'm not even sure if I want to send it back. Having to send for all of that abuse. Okay. Are we all cleaned up? I think so. Right, let's remove the beauty panel. Okay, here's the stick of RAM. That I will be replacing. With this. Alright, RAM. The RAM is replaced. Uh, let's see, did you ask for anything like specific cables or something like that? Alright, we got rent that needs to be paid. Alright, nice. Uh, plastic light grey cables. Put on something. Alright, so... Now then, let's see... Plastic light grey, right? Plastic light grey. Yes. Speaking of which, do I have those in, like... Sleeve? I do not. Why did I do that? I do not know. So I still need to replace that hard drive with a 3 terabyte one. Alright, I'd say we're good. 
Let's just put the pots back on. Including the beauty panel. Alright, and of course we need to install the OS again. Let's see, 33, 34? Okay, I guess we could do a little bit of overclocking here. It is a 9920X. So, let's see how you do. Man, I wish I had an SSD for this. Uh. <laughs> uh. Gotta say though, when you get up in the, like, uh, I guess it's mid range, when you can put like SSDs in everything, yeah, putting a normal hard drive in is a pain. It's so slow. Uh, little though, I am thinking of maybe, uh, maybe replaying this in um, hard mode, just to see what kind of difference it is. Not sure if you would like to see that though. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see me do the hard mode, and uh, probably fail pretty hard. I don't know how hard it is. So. It, it might be good and it might be very difficult and uh, sometimes I get frustrated when it's difficult <laughs> but yeah if you want to see that let me know or at least if you want to see me try it out and um... uh, let's see that was all right yeah huh. I guess I could have pushed the restart button. I was just blabbering on, so I lost, uh, lost what I was installing. Okay, let's see. We went up to 42. I think we can still get a little more juice out of this. Yeah, because we're not even hitting 80 yet. So, I think let's go for 4.6 gigahertz and see how that's doing. I think it's a bit good. And go for 1.5. Right, let's see. So it got like 10 degrees hotter. And we need more power. At least I have gotten the hang of this uh, overclocking thing in this game. Yeah, there's nothing like overclocking in real life though. This is way easier. I guess it is because they do like the same thing for all the motherboards. In my experience has been that there are some differences. Depending on the manufacturer of the motherboard. I haven't played around that much with overclocking so... I usually tend to go for ASUS boards. Just because I felt like they're doing a good job. Okay, so we're hitting 97 and it's not throttling. It seems a bit hot. Well, I mean, as long as you're good, I'm good. We are good. 
And let's see, it was a 26 the Super. There's some kind of EVGA fanboy, aren't you? Okay, let's try for 350. Okay, that looks good. Let's go up to 70 and see. Alright. How about 400? Alright, starting to get up there. There we go. Okay, I guess I didn't have to do that. But I guess this is a way for me to make sure that the CPU ain't throttling now. But sometimes it tends to do that when you overclock the GPU. And it doesn't. Alright, so... I would actually go with a white, not a light blue or cyan. Alright, so... Gonna have this run and I'll be right back! Alright, there we go! 9,000... 419 and actually I would say it's kind of a good matchup the graphics card is a little bit better than the CPU though I'm kind of surprised how high up the 1060 super goes though Yes, I remember everything. Clean up dust, install plastic light grey cables. The new RAM is working well and uh, they gave it a good clean. Yeah. Please keep it that way. <laughs> I kind of want to see how high up the list is the 1060 Super. Not 1060, 2060. Alright, so they start up here. Wow, impressive, but better than a 1070 Ti. Yeah, here is the VGA one. And... Damn, it's up uh, at the 1080 level. Wow, I'm impressed. And from what I can see here, it seems like Asus has the best 2060 Super. Because there's no way that it would surpass a 2070.
Yeah. Still though. I'm impressed. Really impressed. Uh, well, <laughs> that's not even what I was uh, supposed to be doing there. Uh, I am supposed to end off this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye bye!